Hey there viewers, thank you for tuning in to Super Mario Diagnostics once again. Today we are not working on a vehicle, we are actually working on making a video for tooling. Um, things that help us fix our vehicles. And in this particular video we're going to show what could be the ultimate Pico tablet setup, uh, mobile setup. And um, well for those of you who don't know, I usually use this Diag cart. It is uh, my go-to cart for you know close proximity stuff. But uh, usually I have my Pico just landing right here and I hook up to the front plate there. And it's been good to me. I got no complaints, except for when I need to go very mobile. Um, this shop is, this, this building is one of what, like five buildings that are part of this uh, shop. Sometimes I need to take the Pico scope uh, out to another shop, grab my equipment and go and um yeah it's it's not like i have taken my diet card at <laughs> one time but it's not very practical uh but it is nice to have everything in one place but when i do need to go mobile this is my new setup i thought i'd share it because maybe some of you are on the fence about getting this kind of setup and uh i just figured you guys can decide for yourself once you see it on this video so here it is this is the dell 7202 and it is a very particular kind of tablet since this was sent off to Isaac over at Auto Rescue in North Carolina. Isaac, those of you who don't know, runs that company and it is a support and tooling company and he helped set this up. It's fully partitioned for European vehicles, domestics, Asians, um, all you know, different makes and models. Those of you who are familiar, you cannot have certain software in the same partition as others as they will interfere with each other. They share files. They could wreak havoc and cause you problems down the road. So he already figured out all those issues and created a system in which he could just take your existing PC and make a programming beast out of it. Or he can just sell you one already preloaded with all the... Uh, pertinent software so that's what this is i actually sent this out to him he got it done for me huge thanks uh, isaac uh to isaac at uh, auto rescue and there is the dock the dock not a lot of people have the dock i guess i don't know maybe some people don't like it but i i like it a lot actually it lets me bring my tablet back home so to speak and use the monitor with it this is the monitor i used to have on my diag card and it's nice whenever I need to send files over to the server or what would have you, it, it's, it's nice to just come back and hook up to a uh, keyboard and mouse. It's, it's not bad at all. And it doesn't just come loaded, by the way, with programming software. It also comes with Pico stuff, uh, which is nice. I mean, it, it's, it's one less, less thing that you have to do. And it also comes with uh, ATS related software as well. Um, right down here, you can see that some e-scan stuff great for mobile e-scan um test drives i mean i love that uh those of you who don't know what e-scan is maybe i should do a video on this i definitely should it really comes in handy with drivability so anyway as you can see the pico is already hooked up to the back and i'm using the big cable i do have these small cables which are better suited but i've come to find that during ignition primary captures it cuts off communication it, it something happens and the pico is no longer recognized by the computer and then i switched back to the stock cable and it went right back to normal as good as new uh, man it would be awesome to have a, a shorter cable maybe like a one foot two foot cable uh, i would say maybe one and a half foot cable from pico but as of yet, I don't think they're, they have any plans on doing that. So pretty much we tilt this forward, bring it out, and my monitor turns off. My keyboard and mouse are no longer working because this is now in tablet mode, right? So let's flip this around. And you could see that Brandon Dills from Jarhead Diagnostics has taken the liberty of creating a custom-made one which is pretty awesome but I'm sure if you order your own version uh, you won't be getting this but 
maybe I could talk to him about that. Who knows? I don't know if anybody would be interested in that anyway. But <clears throat> yeah, we have a kickstand and we also have the USB hub. So if I remove this here, we can see we have an, ex an extra two USB uh, super speed ports. And it's a pretty clean setup, I got to tell you. I'm sure you'd have different options. It might, this plate, I don't see why it wouldn't work uh, without this hub. But with the hub, you're going to need an M4 by uh, 22 millimeter uh, bolts in order to bolt this up. But without the hub, I would imagine it would be M4 by 16 millimeter long and you'll be all right. And it's five holes. Let me go ahead and I'm going to need two hands because this thing cinches on pretty well. Go ahead and uh, see it holds on pretty good. All right, let me disconnect this. It's got magnetic retention going on here, which is pretty cool. It's on both sides. You can see the gyro diagnostics uh, insignia and it is a nice uh, fit and finish. I'm not going to lie. It's definitely quality. It's not, I don't think this thing will be breaking anytime soon, but I'm sure Brandon will be more than happy to uh, accommodate if there were any issues. Um, I got to give him credit for that one. He did a good job. But yeah, whenever I want to take my Pico scope out of this and into the die cart, well, see, now I can't do it because I'm not using two hands. Uh, I grabbed the whole thing. I'm not... I'm not just going to, I mean, you could slide the Pico out of there. It's a, it's a snug fit, but it's easy enough to come out. So it's not too bad. I guess I could take the whole thing or just the Pico, but that's your uh, prerogative if you decide to go this route. Pretty happy with it. Got no complaints. Um, I'm pretty sure he's going to be doing this for mass production. <laughs> uh, haven't heard any news of it yet. I believe I may have one of the first ones. So those of you who are interested, I believe his website is jarheaddiag.com. Jarhead if not, feel free to reach out to me in the comments section. I will be more than happy to uh, link you guys to wherever you need to uh, get to to find these items. And uh, once again, Isaac at Auto Rescue. Brandon at Jarhead Diagnostics. I figure some people might be curious about this. How long would it take for the monitor to show up once we connect this? So we uh, find the slot and seat it. And you will see, you can use the mouse immediately and the keyboard, but the monitor takes a couple of seconds to come back up and bam, you're back in business. Uh, it is a nice feature, I can't complain. Um, yeah, that is it. I thought. I'd share that it has like three USB ports, a display port, an HDMI port, and a headphone port for those of you who are wondering. Um, and this does come, this tablet by the way, comes with two battery slots. They are hot swappable. You can have one uh, running while you change out another. And uh, it has a fingerprint security measure. But I personally, uh, I don't know if it's the way it's designed or not, but sometimes it doesn't grab my finger. I don't care. I'm usually wearing gloves or greasy. So I have uh, other security measures in place which don't bother me. So yeah, I thought you guys might want to know that. I'm pretty happy with it. And if, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I, uh, I know I haven't, haven't been online as much, but... Uh, I'm still alive and uh, I'm hoping to get something to you guys soon. It, I just like to get some interesting stuff and I like to get videos that have a conclusion to them with a confirmed fix. So it's not that uh, they are ne necessarily fixing them. Sometimes it's, it's different situations. I sometimes might just diag them and not necessarily repair them. It's just all kinds of situations. So um, yeah. I think I'll leave it at that. Thank you all for tuning in. Be sure to hit like, share, comment if you'd like to. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time.